playing by Ramsey. I'm Margie and today we're going to be doing a quick video of a furniture flip where I show you how to transform a dresser top, how to distress, some of the products that I use and I think you'll really like it. But it it was sad. That's all I can say. It was just really sad. It didn't have any pizzazz to it. It's probably from the 70s, I would say. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you like to see furniture flips and rustic farmhouse decor, then you want to hit the like button, guys. You want to give me the thumbs up. You want to click the subscribe thing. Hit that little bell so you always get the updates when we update a new, when we upload a new video. So, without further ado, on with the video. After giving my piece a thorough cleaning, I got to sanding that top. It was a little bit of work, but I got it all off. Wait till you see how great it looks. I love Heirloom Traditions paint in Stonehenge. I'm going to be using the foam applicator sponges that I get from Heirloom Traditions Paint Company. I'm going to simply dab into my paint pan and then just get the paint onto the piece. No need to be precise, no need to be picky, just get it on the piece. You don't need to work it in, you don't need to do anything, just get it on there. This paint has a built-in primer so there's no need to do anything but clean, no sanding required, and it has a built-in top coat, so no wax to even mess with on, the, on this piece. Look at the great coverage. I'm just stippling, which just basically means going up and down, up and down with the paint, and you can see that I have great coverage just on the first coat. Now I will come back and touch up any places that I've missed on the second coat, but it's not going to need much more than a basic touch up. Now it's time to run my sander over the edges until I get a finish that I'm happy with. I'm just going to go over the whole dresser until I get a nice chippy farmhouse look. That's what I'm going for. What do you think? Did I make it? Now I'm going to be applying some Sweet Pickens Dark Oil Wax over some of those areas where eh, I might have gotten a little carried away and I might have sanded a little too much. This will just darken those tones right back down so that they behave and play well with the other distressing. This oil wax is just deepening the color of the wood underneath. You literally don't need much. A little dab will do ya. Now back to that wood top. I'm simply taking my dark wax, dark brown wax from Folk Art, and simply rubbing it into the wood. I like to go in a semicircular motion back and forth, getting it down into that grain. Doesn't it look fantastic, guys? I am just in love with this stuff. I use it on almost all of my unfinished pieces on the top. So easy to use and leaves a beautiful, silky soft finish behind. Now I'm just adding back on the hardware. You can always spray paint it if you wanted to. Oh my stars, I just love how this turned out. Please make sure you comment below and tell me if you like it.
have it guys. Pretty easy farmhouse flip. Um, if you liked any of the products that I used, I will make sure to list those in the description. And if you want to see more farmhouse flips, um, whether it's furniture or decor, um, just let me know in the comments. Tell me what you thought the best tip maybe was. And tell me what kind of things you'd like to see in the future. We're really trying to grow our YouTube channel, so please hit that subscribe button. Do the liking and the sharing and the clicking and do all those things. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.